What we do is we have identified cell lines, mm -hmm. uh, cancer cell lines, uh -huh. okay, that produce telomeres, uh -huh. okay? And we look for the uh -huh. cancer cell lines that produce the lowest amount uh -huh. of telomeres, and then just assume that's the minimum amount of telomeres needed to keep the cells immortal, okay? So in yeah. the case of humans, we compare it to a cell line called HELA, H-E-L-A. Uh -huh. In the case of dogs, we use a, a cancer cell line called D17. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're not comparing human to What's human, that? human to dog, but we're comparing human to HeLa and dog to D17. Mm -hmm. Humans, it gets to 16% of HeLa. Mm -hmm. There, it gets to 80% mm -hmm. of the dog. So, so that's saying that, that in dogs, there is a chance that TAM818 is already strong enough to to stop these and dogs. My lawyer sprinkled Tam 818 on, my, on his dog food every day for mm -hmm. uh, like a year uh, uh, when his really, really old dog was barely walking, was getting close to dying. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he claims, in my work, he claims that uh, the Tam 818 added significant uh, lifespan, lifespan to his dog.